I am fantastically excited about today's video. I had a plan for a video today. One of y'all sent this in to me. It's an application to a national organization. I read this. I I'm blown away. I don't think I'm overselling it. I cannot believe what is on this application. Let me know if I am wrong or I'm just overblown. And holy smokes, this is great and telling and scary. Holy guacamole. Buckle up, here we go. Today's episode is fittingly brought to you by CMMG. When you get yours, you're going to love that it runs like a Swiss sewing machine, but it was made in America in Boonville, Missouri. They look fantastic, and they're backed by a whopper of a good warranty. I love mine. It's my go-to, rudely tootly. Use that coupon code when you head to cmmg.pool and tell them I sent you. It's CMMG. You people, Thank you. Love from me here at Appalachia Bees. Love y'all. Appreciate everything. All right. This part of this is going to be a little annoying. I get it. One of y'all sent this to me. I, I hollered back this morning and said, can I show this but redact your information? They said, yeah, absolutely. I've also, I'm not going to share the civic organization that this is because uh, I'm, I ain't getting in, I'm not getting into a jackpot here. I think, I think I'm going to give you enough where we're going to be okay here. This is a national organization. It's a big one, and I'm not going to share who it is, but they're located in uh, about every city in America, at least a medium-sized city and above. They're there, and they're everywhere. They are everywhere. This is their current application. A lot of good here. The men that are applying to be in these, it's non-religious, it's civic, rooted in America, a lot of America going on here. A big H yes from me. And then it takes a, whoop, a left hand turn. See if I'm wrong. All right, here's the application. By signing this application, this is me, this is who I am. Number two, the applicant was born in this city at this time. Three, do you believe in God and are you willing to attest to that belief? Yes, absolutely. This, this is a organization is rooted in America stuff. It's not a religious organization, but they want God fearing Americans to be a part. You're getting a hell's yes from me on number three. Do you believe in God? Yes, absolutely. Number four, are you a citizen of the United States? Kind of cool. Who will pledge allegiance to and salute our flag? All right, now we're talking. America's hopping. Things are churning. Things are good. The wheels of USA are turning. It's almost 4th of July. Let's go. I like it. Five, if you were foreign born, we didn't wear your final naturalization papers were issued. Cool. Six, are you willing to assume an obligation that A, will not conflict with your duties to yourself, your family, or your religious or political opinions, and that will bind, bind you to uphold the Constitution and laws of the United States of America? Isn't that great? I know, and I apologize, I can't share who it is. This is probably easy to find for those of y'all that want to chase it, but I'm doing, I'm trying to be careful with my little channel here. All right, everything is cool here. For me, heck yeah, Rambo, down, <laughs> down with USSR, Wolverines, the whole nine yards, Mr. T, Kool-Aid, all of it. Yeah, bring on the hot dogs. This is America. And then we get to number seven. I, I cannot believe this. Are you now a member of or directly or in, indirectly participating in the activities of any group or organization or supporting or adhering to beliefs or tenets advocating the overthrow of the government of the United States or any of its political subdivisions by force or violence? What the frick? This is 2024. We have a old, old organization that still in their minds is upholding America. And they probably a lot of them are, at least in their minds, probably a lot of NRA members, probably a lot of good guys, probably a lot of nice guys. And somehow this right wing extremism, boogaloo, January 6th, bullcrap has wormed its way in to the very heart of America. I find it funny. I find the, it, it questionable how that ended up in there when we have a day and age where you can't even, the whole boogaloo thing, when you were wearing, and I'm already demonetized for saying that word, 
when you uh, put on those, a few years ago, four or five years ago, put on those uh, Hawaiian shirts, bang, you're, you're nailed. I understand this very, very clearly that most of y'all have jobs and go to work because you're conservatives and you're not out training with your local M word out in the woods. It's not about that. What it is very much about, it is extremely American to be in a constant state of dog watching the federal government. And they are not playing around, neither side. It's not the left, it's not the right, it is all of them. Washington, D.C. has a stranglehold on this country. They are not willing to bleep around and let anyone have discussions about freedom. When people are in the, in the, uh, in, out in the street, in chat rooms, talking about, uh, about things I'm not willing to talk about, French Revolution stuff, uh, they get really, really twitchy. Somehow, those J6 white supremacist ideas have made it into the heart of American fraternal brotherhoods, and I find it telling of where we're at. I don't think I'm overreacting. I'm blown away. I got online today and was reading about the extremism in America, and it has taken root both in the three-letter agencies and in D.C. proper. It is here. They are looking at all times for you and me. To borrow a phrase, act accordingly. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.